how to film high quality YouTube videos on your phone. You've got a magical machine in your pocket and I'm gonna show you in this video how to use your phone to make high quality YouTube videos using your iPhone. You don't need a big fancy DSLR camera if you're just starting out on YouTube and I'm gonna show you how I've used my iPhone to film all of my YouTube videos so far including this one. Now, my name is Cairo and this is my million dollar hustle channel. I'm trying to get my net worth from basically zero to over a million in the next three years. And YouTube is a huge part of that strategy. So I'm gonna be sharing everything I learn, everything I succeed at, everything I fail at. So crush the like button and let me give you what you came here for. So make sure you watch to the end for the full seven steps of how I use my iPhone to make high quality YouTube videos. Step one, you've got to have the right settings. So I'm going to be sharing some of my iPhone screen over here. Now I personally choose to shoot in 24 frames per second in 4K. Now the reason I do that is because supposedly at 24 frames per second, you get a slightly more cinematic look. And I shoot at 4K because then when I'm editing, I can zoom in without losing any quality. The downside is that the files get pretty big, so you need to make sure you have enough space on your phone. If you don't, it might stop recording mid-recording, and that's happened to me before I went in total Hulk smash mode. <laughs> had to restrain myself from throwing my phone at the wall because I'd been filming for 25 minutes when that happened. Had to start right from the beginning. So if you're using iPhone in conjunction with Mac, you can just airdrop your previous footage, keep your phone storage as low as possible. And if you're using, maybe you wanna get the footage from your phone onto a computer and it's a PC, you can use something called Simple Transfer. That's the one I use as a free thing. Uh, to transfer the footage from my phone to my laptop. If you're shooting a lot of B-roll that you wanna reuse in future videos, you can store that in Google Photos. Now that storage space is uncapped and free in high quality, which is 1080p, until they start charging for that in 2021. So you can make use of that before Google starts making you pay for it. Now, when your video is completely finished, you've edited and everything, if you want to be uploading it from your phone, make sure that you follow these settings so that you are uploading in the highest quality and that you are uploading only when the Wi-Fi is strong. You don't really wanna be uploading when the Wi-Fi isn't strong. Step two, and this is a very commonly asked question in terms of iPhone photography and videography, should you use the front camera or the back camera? Now, the advantage of using the front camera is that you can see yourself, but pro tip, make sure you look at the camera lens, either whether you're using the front or the back camera, if you're not looking at the camera lens like I'm doing right now, you might be looking at yourself like I'm doing right now, and that will look a little bit weird for the viewer on camera. It doesn't look like you're like maintaining eye contact. So it's much better to make sure you look directly at the camera. Now, I prefer using the front camera so I can still see myself in the peripheries. I can see that my framing is generally in the center of the screen. If you're using the back camera, that becomes a lot harder because you can't see yourself. So the trick is, to use a mirror. Now, I find this incredibly fiddly. I don't like doing it at all. I tried it once or twice, but my framing was all off. I found it really awkward, but you can give it a go. As you can see in some of this footage over here, this is roughly how you could set it up. Step number three, and that is to make it sound better. Now, the YouTube gods say viewers are far more forgiving of Mm, sub part footage than they are of sub part audio because if something doesn't sound good it just becomes irritating and you're more likely to click away and watch some other video that sounds better so the native audio from an iphone isn't that great and you can easily fix this with a small simple purchase that you can get on amazon i'll link to it in the description it is the rode video micro now you'll need to buy a small little adapter so you can connect the microphone directly to your iphone but the audio sounds so much better. So this is the audio with the Rode Video Micro. Now I'll unplug it for a second. This is the native iPhone audio. So you tell me which one you prefer, but the general consensus is that the Rode Video Micro audio is far better. Now the fuzzy thing at the end of the microphone, that is known as a dead cat, and that helps to take away some of the environmental sounds that would otherwise be picked up by the iPhone. Step number four, let's light it up. So actually lighting plays such an important part in your videos. Now, initially I was using natural daylight. I was facing a window and getting that natural daylight to light my videos. But because it's getting dark so early in London in the winter, 
I needed some more artificial light. So initially I tried using a ring light, but that was a nightmare. It made me look like a total freak because you get these weird like circles in the glasses. I didn't like that at all. So I got another cheap light from Amazon that I've just lifted up on its stand and have it at a slight angle so that you can't really see the reflection in my glasses. If I were to turn like that, there you can see the light. But if I pretty much look directly at the camera, you can't notice it too much. Now my next upgrade is probably gonna be a better light that diffuses better so that I don't just have light on one side of my face. I have this little fill light here so you can see it a little bit on my jaw. Which, which does help and it gives a slight backlight and a bit of a glow to my silhouette. So that is helpful. That is the ring light that I, that I was struggling with front on in the beginning. But I'm also gonna get a fill light, which is basically just gonna be bouncing from a white board over here to fill up more of this side of my face for a slightly less dramatic look. Step number five, and that is to stabilize. Now you can do this either with a tripod or a gimbal. So I bought a cheap tripod off of Amazon and then I also bought the DJI Osmo Mobile 3. Basically what that is, it is a gimbal to help you steady your shot. So it's not super important if you're doing a lot of talking head videos like this, but if you are on the go, you're vlogging, it is nice to be able to steady that so you're not shaking all over the show. Even though the iPhone does a fairly good job of stabilizing the footage, having a gimbal makes it way easier to make more cinematic kind of shots. I'll pop links to each of these in the description below. Now, when starting out, you don't necessarily have to have a tripod or a gimbal. You could balance your phone on something, balance it on some books. However, I do think it's worth the small investment to get a tripod or a gimbal to get those more steady shots. Step number six, and that is to edit the footage. Now, I film on my iPhone, but I edit in Premiere Pro on my laptop. Now, don't despair. You don't need to have a laptop to edit your footage. You can actually edit the whole thing just from your iPhone using an app like iMovie. Step number seven, and that is to figure out how to make the right videos. Now I use an app called TubeBuddy, which has a mobile application as well. I recently made a video about that, so I'll link it in the cards as well as in the description. It's been a huge game changer to me because it's helped me choose what videos to make, what videos I might be able to rank for. It's taken out a lot of the guesswork. So after you've watched this video, go watch that video because TubeBuddy will save you loads of time and guesswork. Now crush the like button and subscribe. Go watch these videos next. I'll see you in there and let's hustle together.